So now it goes from the guys to the women. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, okay? sleepy tonight but I gotta get this video out for you guys so um yeah I'm gonna try to not be so boring I'm, gonna, um, I'm not the most awake in the world it's late and I'm tired <laughs> I want to tell you guys a little story I guess I can call it a story I don't know if I can call it a story or if it's just some kind of fucking phenomenon but either way I'm gonna tell you so, if you have been following my abuse videos, if you've watched all of those and you know my story and you're familiar with it, blah blah blah, if you've paid attention to any of that, um, you'll remember that I mentioned that my dad was overweight. My father, the man who molested me, was very, very overweight. Now, when things like that happen to you, sometimes your brain wants to go after it if you know what I mean not exact not the exact thing or person that you're um being manipulated by but in some form by that I mean by that I mean I think I was subconsciously attracting fat guys to me years ago now like I said it isn't exactly a story but it's um something that happened to me I I think it happened. It started happening in high school. It started happening in high school where I had um, the most unattractive guys try to hit on me. And now, not just unattractive, but you know they were overweight. So at first, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, okay, well, I'm not really into overweight guys, but okay. I don't know why this is happening. Um, Actually, it wasn't happening a lot at first, but it started in high school. So I thought, okay, well, maybe I'm attracting the, the overweight guys because the overweight guys actually pay attention to me versus the guys who look good or whatever. They're not paying me any damn attention because I look like a geek. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, well, personality matters more than looks. You know, maybe, yeah, I'd be alright. You know, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, that happened in high school. Um, and even college, when I went to college, I had another overweight guy be attracted towards me, but he was an asshole. This one that was attracted to me was, um, an asshole. That was the one from the video that I, where he stole my books, the one I mentioned, my books. He stole one of my, my erotic books in college, if you remember that story. That was the one. He was very unattractive and very overweight. And then after him came another guy. There was another guy a little, little later on in life who appeared to be very attracted to me. And they were like kind of in between guys who were kind of trying to hit on me and they were overweight. But I've had three serious guys in my life that were overweight and they were trying to get with me. And I thought that was some kind of pattern because those are the only type of guys interested in me besides my husband. And I just thought that was um, fucking weird and because my dad was overweight it was like a subconscious reaction in my mind like that's all I was able to attract so I just thought um, maybe it's all I deserved you know what I mean I was in the mindset of fat guys is all I deserve so even when I got married I guess I still had that mindset because like I said along came another guy he was very big and I was not attracted to him but he was very much into me and uh, that was a very bad situation I don't want to remember <laughs> but either way I've always been attracting these huge guys and I'm like why but it took me years, a little bit years later after blah, blah, blah. it took me some years after those situations to realize you know what this is not on me this is not my fault this is because of 
the person who abused me. It's the only reason I'm thinking this way. It's the only reason guys like this keep coming my way and try to um, really get with me. But I'm not interested. You know, I'm not attracted to guys that are bigger, if that makes any sense. So that's that's just what kept happening. And even has that happened recently? No, it has not happened recently. Um. No, it hasn't happened recently. What's happening recently is now I'm starting to attract bigger women. <laughs> so now it goes from the guys to the women. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, okay? No offense, no offense against overweight women, but now I'm starting to attract a bunch of overweight women. And I'm happy that it's not the guys anymore because that lets me know that the pattern the mindset that I had years ago based on what my father looked like is gone because I have not had any overweight guys try to kill with me in a long time like seriously it just was like a sort of serious thing that, that hasn't happened in a long time so I'm very very grateful that is like a um it's like a milestone casting milestone I don't know hell it's some kind of progress you know I count it as progress because I don't, I don't get that anymore. Um, but like I said, now I'm attracting the bigger women that I'm not really attracted to. But I mean, if you're chubby, that's one thing. But if you're like fat, fat, mm -mm. but anyway, that's the end of the story. I mean, it was nothing spectacular. It's just something I wanted to put out there. I wanted to let y'all know that I used to attract these big, big, big guys, and I just was like, oh my god, I was always turned off. I was always completely turned off for the fact that I was attracting these huge guys. And I knew it was because of my dad. I just knew it was like a subconscious thing. I knew for years, and it was hard to get over. Now I'm over it. Y'all, I'm fucking done. If another fat guy comes up to me talking shit, and I'm, I'm gonna be like, Yeah, that, there it is. That's it. <laughs> well, now I'm attracting more attractive people to me. You know? Um, people who I'm actually attracted to. Physical, you know, physical attraction does matter. You know what I mean? You can't just have um, any type of attraction and you don't have physical attraction. That cannot work. In most cases, that cannot work. You have to have some sort of physical attraction to the person. You know? Like, hey. <laughs> So bisexuality has been weird to me. Like I said, I've been attracting, honestly, all kinds of women, but there have been a couple of overweight ones that have been trying to get serious with me. And, um, yeah. I'm not really interested. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is, and that's it. I'm glad I broke that pattern, you know? So, see, when, when things come in your head and things start, you have to wonder, you have to look at yourself and wonder why things are coming your way a certain way. Like if you're only attracting a certain type of guy or a certain type of girl, you have to wonder why. You have to dig deep in your subconscious and wonder why. Why are you attracting this person? How are you attracting this person? This is a person that you don't want to date. You don't want to date this person because of A, B, C, D. Or it could be just A and B. Whatever. It could be all through A, A through Z. But why are you attracting them? If you keep attracting the same type of person that you don't want, there's something wrong. There's probably something have to do with you or your subconscious mind or just something you have to get over, something you have to pass, could be a test, could be something, it's something in your life that you have to get over, something that you have to face, you have to deal with, you can't run from it. So if you're attracting people in your life that you don't want there, just take a look in your mind, you know, dig deep, dig way deep, because uh, sometimes the answer is deeper than you imagine. Sometimes you'll never find that answer unless you dig so deep. Real deep. <laughs> so yeah. Just think about that. Some food for thought. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know my experience. And um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm still hella sleepy. You know I don't seem like it. But hey, I'm trying to get hyped. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the subscribers that are continuously flowing in. I love you guys. I appreciate it. 
thank you for everything. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter and blow me up there. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Peace out.